Cam, we're breaking down the NFC South this morning. You guys have won the division three straight years. So tell me a team that you think poses the biggest challenge to you making it four in a row. Uh, the entire NFC South. I mean, uh, to think what uh, Atlanta has at, at its uh, at his hands. I mean, they signed Todd Gurley. Um, you know, they hired a new D-line coach. They bring in practically an entire new D-line, uh, minus, of course, Grady. Uh, then you have, you know, Julio, Calvin, Ridley, uh, Matt Ryan still at helm. You go over to Panthers, they bring in Teddy Bridgewater, they sign Robbie Anderson. Uh, you know, the defense has been pretty star-studded this entire time. Even with Keekley retiring, uh, they've still been quite sure of themselves. Uh, then you go down to, to Tampa, Tampa Brady, Tampa, <laughs> Tampa Bay, <laughs> That's how it's pronounced, whatever you yes. want to call it. <laughs> um, and now, you know, you know Tampa, T Tampa, exactly, whatever you want to call it, Tom Brady. <laughs> Then blows on a conch shell and, and Gronkowski magically comes out of retirement. Um, so now you've got, you know, Cameron Brate, uh, uh, Gronkowski, and uh, O.J. Howard at tight end. And you still have 2,000-yard receivers and Mike Evans and, and Godwin. Man, that was a comprehensive yeah. breakdown. You're like Adam Schefter or somebody out there. All right, so let's go to Brady. You face him now twice a year. What, what do you think of when you think of, of facing TB12 a couple times each season? Uh I mean, I'm not overly excited about it simply because we know that he makes all the all the quick throws. I mean, uh, if he doesn't see something downfield that he likes, he will check down. And as a D lineman, I'd rather try and go for that deep ball. Um, when you when you think about you know the three or four times that I've played Tom Brady, I think I've only got a sack off of him. So I mean, it's not like he's one of my most favorite targets. Yeah, have I sacked him? Yes. Have I sacked him a lot? No. I'm clearly going to have to change that this year. Okay. Listen, you got him in 2013. We went back and looked. You've been known to talk a little out there on the field. I think I'm, I'm not saying anything that you don't know. Did you say anything to him at the time? Uh, I think in 2013, I think I was just too young. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, feel like, I feel like a good quick sack is, is something that, you know, the art of talking smack goes with domination. And when you're going against Tom Brady, uh, it's always going to be a close game no matter what. No, well, I have a feeling maybe, maybe this time if you do get him, you might have something to say. Uh, Ten days ago, Sean Payton told you guys there's not going to be a virtual offseason program, no virtual workouts, none of that. Just take care of your families. What was your reaction when he said that? Uh, I wouldn't say to be expected, but we do have a veteran uh, leadership core of both the offense and defense. So for him to have the, the respect and the trust to know that we're going to be getting after it, uh, seems seems about right. I mean, he knows that we've had, you know, in this last three years, we've had chances to make it deeper than what we did. Um, so he knows that what we have on, on our shelves. Thinking about what we want to do as a team, I mean, in all of my group texts with, with my D-line, with all of my group texts on defense, with all the, the you know, even the group texts with, with the team, we're all the same mindset and we're trying to push ourselves to be better than we were in previous years. So, I mean, for him to say, hey, take care of your workouts, take care of your bodies, make sure your family is good, is right on target with our mindset. Now, not everyone has a full weight room in their house. We saw Gronk doing reps with the Lombardi Trophy. What new and fun ways have you come up with to stay in shape, Cam? I'll say I've, I've had to find out. You know, I've always I've always relied on me being able to get to the facility yeah. or whatever gym it is. With everything shut down, I've been ordering equipment like crazy, uh, just trying to make adequate workouts. So now I've got a curling bar system. Um, I'm, I'm nothing like, you know, any of my teammates that have the, the full gym, but I've got like a stationary bike and I'm, I make it work. I'm, and at the end of the day, um, you know, I'm, I'm back to like high school grunt workouts. It's perfectly fine. Like I can make anything work out um, to know that, you know, as of what the last three years, I think I had 40 sacks in the last three years. Um, I'm gunning for something better this year. I'm gunning for more uh, in terms of more than just 15 and a half sacks last year. I'm, I'm going for a Super Bowl. So, I'm doing all these grunt workouts. I've got sweats on. I look like, uh, you know, I look like I'm back in Pop Warner. I mean, I'm trying to make <laughs> the best of my environment. Hey, I know you've been dabbling in, in media this offseason. We saw you as a sideline reporter during the XFL season. What was that like for you? Uh, look at you. That was, that was interesting. I mean, I try to put on my, my like, best reporter colors. I was, like, I was like, don't stand out too much. I was like, go gray. Stay light pastels. You know, I was like, I was like think. You know, channel, channel your inner sideline reporter. Uh, but to think that uh, you'd have that much access to be on the sideline, some of those things I got lost in celebrating with the players. Like, you know, one of the defensive linemen, 
and like scooped up a fumble and was like on his way back running. I'm in there cheering to like Cam, we're about to come to you in 10. I was like, I was like, go, bro. I was like, get going. Show him the show him the show him the boasties. And then he comes to the sideline and I'm like really celebrating with him. They're like, so Cam, shoot him a question. I was like, oh yeah, and by the way. You yeah, you, you broke you broke the cardinal rule of me. You never cheer from the press box. That, that is not allowed, Cam Jordan. You can't do it. it, it I on. was just too enthralled. All right, I, I love I love the game too much. It's my fault. If you had to adopt one thing from the XFL and, and move it to the NFL, what would it be? They had some interesting innovations. What would you What would you bring over? Maybe uh, I'd like to say right before halftime. Maybe you allow a reporter to get down to the sideline like maybe like the last drive or so you know maybe under really? the last two minutes you last be, minute you'd be okay with being interviewed in a in crunch time like that no i was i was hoping you were going to mike t or drew i, I figured you were coming my way <laughs> <laughs> hey uh listen we all have a little extra time at home these days i did see on twitter you guys uh, put on a fashion show for your wife's birthday here we're looking at it now here oh cam look at oh, you yeah. now Talk, oh, yeah. talk us through this now. Uh, so, you know, uh, I can't even put how old wife turned, but she's old now. <laughs> she's a mother of three. <laughs> uh, but it, it was her birthday. I mean, you know, she uh, she does she does everything for us. I mean, she makes the house run. Uh, and I've got nothing but the the highest of respects for her. I mean, you know, it's, it's one thing to have her as a partner. It's another thing to be in quarantine and watch her be the be a substitute teacher and make it fun for the kids every day. Uh, so what she does for, for everybody in the house, I mean, it's just a no brainer. So we try to make it fun. I mean, we had like the little fake money guns, which I mean, I, I ordered, I ordered everything. We had, we had the money gun spraying. We had like the little pop things going. We had confetti everywhere. Uh, I made a big mess and I even helped clean up. Whoa. That was my big, that was my big, up. that's what I'm saying. I, I, I tried here. I put out all the stops. Yeah. But at the end of the day, she's a superstar. So she deserved it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.